electrolysis, one of the required practicals. Here I've got four different solutions, sodium chloride, copper chloride, copper sulphate and sodium sulphate. I'm going to have a look at the electrolysis of all four of these. Often the experiments say do this in a beaker. I'm not going to do that in a beaker. I'm going to use special equipment to do this. So I've got a standard little electrolysis tube and I've got two carbon electrodes separated by a piece of plastic and these go into a bung which we can fit in tightly tight enough so that the liquid doesn't fall out but not too tight so I can break it and I'm going to clamp this in a stand just tight enough to hold it so that it won't fall but it won't break let's have a look at copper chloride to start with so copper chloride 0.2 molar not that strong and I'm going to fill up the electrolysis tube just to cover the electrodes and a little bit more we don't want too much more because we're also going to fill up these little test tubes which we're going to place over the electrodes and these test tubes will be full of the liquid which will be then displaced by any gas that might be produced one of the problems with doing this is spillage so we're going to do this over a beaker and any liquid that I miss will just harmlessly go in the beaker. I filled this up so it's just overflowing and I've got a slight amount over the top. Now if I carefully turn this then no liquid will escape. It's all held in by capillary action and now I can place this into my electrolysis tube and I'm going to cover one of the electrodes. Let's do it again with the other one. So I fill it up and I want enough liquid that it's just going to have something over the top, little bubble, turn it, it's going to fall off and now I can place this over the electrode. Now sometimes they don't fit over the electrodes very well and what we need to do is fiddle it a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze the electrodes down here very slightly and the test tube fits over the top. I'm going to pull both test tubes up so they are not touching at the bottom but there's about half to one centimetre gap on top and the advantage of this is that electricity can go through the liquid from one electrode to the other not being stopped by the glass of the test tubes. I've got power supply I've set to 4 volts. The positive which I've plugged the red in I'm going to connect to the long electrode and this is going to be the anode and the negative which is got black wire on I'm going to connect to the short one and this is going to be my cathode. Keeping the voltage below 4 volts for safety reasons we then leave it for about 3-4 minutes to see what happens. What we should see is some bubbles being produced on the anode and I can see a steady stream of bubbles being produced. They will collect in the top of this test tube and the copper chloride in here will displace what's in the test tube into the electrolysis container, which is why we don't want it too full. On the other side, I'm not getting any bubbles. And what I am seeing is a sort of browny, reddy coloured deposit on the electrode. Well, it's gone, it's worked. Let's now stop it so I can take off the crocodile clip and make sure they're not connecting. 
I'll switch it off for safety and in here we've got two test tubes one with a little gas in it on the cathode so the cathode being here so it was on the anode it's being attracted here some sort of negative substance so I've got this little bubble of a gas now we can guess what the gas is going to be and with a bit of shaking we get rid of this and very careful smelling and there is a whiff of chlorine gas the gas that I would smell if I go to the swimming pool on the other side no gas and I'll just empty the test tube ready for washing up inside the electrolysis container I'm going to carefully pour this out looking at the electrodes then on the one side we've got it clear on the other side we've got a deposit and it looks remarkably in this light like copper the copper which is 2 plus ions has been attracted to the negative side the cathode so we had two products of electrolysis chlorine gas on the positive side and copper on the negative side now all we have to do is write our half equations and balance them